Jim Mack said on Thursday, if you gave him a preference, he preferred to win in Japan. With the relationship with Honda over the years, is that a sentiment that you can get on board with? Well, to be honest with you, I don't care where we win, so long as we win it. Um, so Singapore is obviously theoretically uh, or mathematically a chance, but uh, the probability is, is probably very low. So, you know, the next hopefully chance could be in, in Japan. But uh, you know, there's so many uh, variables that we're just taking every race one at a time. You don't need me to tell you what a fantastic year this has been for you and the team. That return to the, the sort of dominance of 2013, how much was that missing for Christian Horner? You know, sleepless nights, there's been some hard years. How much was it missing for you? I think, look, I mean, last year was an, was an epic and it was a massive fight all the way through the year. This year, you know, we've come out the blocks well. We've, as a team, we've really delivered at every level. Uh, you know, with the car, with strategy, you know, Max obviously done a, a, an incredible job. And so, uh, you know, we're pretty close to the statistics that we achieved in 2013, but, uh, uh, you know, there's still, there's still room for more. And, um, you know, this, the team has uh, obviously had huge pressure um, to, to deliver. And, you know, that's exactly what we've done. From the outside looking in, it looked as though Adrian, maybe towards 2015, 2016, he needed some new challenges. Do you feel like the 2022 regulation change sort of reignited his fire? And how much of your success this year has been down to Adrian? I think Adrian, you know, obviously after the introduction of the, the, the V6 era, uh, you know, he got in, heavily involved in, in a couple of other projects, you know, the Valkyrie in, in particular. Um, so he stepped back a little bit from Formula One, you know, activities splitting his time. Um, but of course, he's still playing a key, you know, fun function and role in the business. Uh, you know, in the in the in the technical team, but now he's also got a very good and strong group of engineers, you know, working with him. Um, you know, led by Pierre Vache and uh, you know Enrico Baldo and Ben uh, Waterhouse and, and Craig Skinner. So, um, you know, we've got a, a tremendously strong technical group, and Adrian now has the ability to to flex his time uh, between Formula One and and of course the RB17 that he's he's very much involved in.